kind of effed up. It's been like an hour. I've just been jamming. Once I grab that guitar, <laughs> it's hard to put it down. So uh, if this is all screwed up, I take 100% responsibility and blame for it. But we're going to wipe this off right now. And hopefully it ain't effed up. Get the rubbers. Damn, all sweaty. Death metal, some crazy shit. All right, so now, just wipe this off until you no longer see anything on the uh, T-shirt. If the camera's shaky, I'll hold the table nice and steady. Again, just wipe this off until it, you stop seeing anything on your uh, T-shirt or whatever rag you're gonna use to wipe this off. Now the question you might be asking yourselves as you're looking at this is, God Kevin, that still looks like rosewood. What happened? Well, Kevin's kind of an idiot and he didn't realize that that's been sitting for about, I don't know, two and a half months. And I probably should have stirred it before I applied the first coat. So that's strike one on Frizzard's part. Disregard what I did there. Do not do that. So we are not going to F that up this time when we go to do this coat. That's actually going to look black actually gonna look like ebony and not like I put some clear shit on there that is dumb fuckery strike one on Frizzard's part note to self do not repeat that mistake but I'm gonna leave that in the video because it's funny and yeah, it's good reference in case somebody else ever runs into the same problem or they will avoid that problem or mistake that I just made this is only my second time doing this by the way when I bought that it was already it was just fine I never even stirred it and it looked great. All right, let's try it again. So we give it a dunk. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like, Kev. Oh my God, I can't wait to watch this shit back. I'm gonna laugh my ass off how stupid I was when I did that. Cause now it's actually looking like uh, it's covering. But the same rule does apply to these frets and these inlays this will not hurt your inlays they'll wipe right off because it's plastic it's not going to stick to that so don't worry about that your main concern should just be getting that in all these nooks and crannies nice and deep <laughs> night and day difference dude <laughs> oh it's funny i believe i did that well, i kind of do this is still going to turn out awesome though. This is definitely worth um, the prep work and the patience because this ends up coming out. And it just looks amazing. It almost makes the guitar look like it's worth more. And I'm just a fan of ebony. I don't care for the rosewood. Rosewood looks good on certain guitars, but this guitar and that bastard V that I have, nah. This is definitely just going to make that slime green pop even more jumping off of the way this fretboard is going to look when it's all done I can definitely give myself a tally mark for a tarred moment in Kevin Frizzard video making history almost there I'm going to actually give it up just a little bit because uh, over here this area it's definitely harder to sand so I want to make sure it's nice and dark in there. And again, like I mentioned, you're going to have bleeding no matter what. It's very, very unavoidable. No matter how careful you are, no matter how good you tape it all off, you're still going to have that stain run off. But do not worry. Do not panic. I'll show you what to do. That comes in the final stages of when you go and pull the tape off and all that stuff. I'll show you guys all that. You guys probably think I'm full of shit now after I goofed up in the beginning of this video or whatever clip ago. Yeah, this is part stupid by not stirring the shit. Let's go back over and make sure I didn't miss anything. It's taken the stain pretty good so far though. I just want to make sure I nothing was overlooked. So the parts that are a little bit more challenging to uh, get the stain to sit up in. 
is up in these frets. Because that's obviously the area where it's hard to get sandpaper in there. Remember, when you guys go to sand this, if you do this, if you go through this whole process, if you want to ebonize your fingerboard, lightly, lightly sand. Because you do not want any unevenness across your fretboard. That will uh, definitely cause you some problems later. Just be very, very careful with it and just take your time. And everything will be good. Alright, so we're going to let that sit. And I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so it's time to wipe the surface uh, stain off of here and see what we got for the first coat. So let me put you over there, right there. Aim ski down. Can you see that guitar? You see that bad boy? One thing I forgot to mention when you go to grab an old uh, cloth or any kind of old t-shirt, just make sure that you know it's old enough to where you ain't got any lint getting on your uh, fretboard because that's not going to be a good look. You're gonna be all kinds of pissed off and then you're gonna to want to yell at me. Let's start wiping this off of here. As you're doing this, you know, you're wiping it into those spots that you know maybe uh, didn't take the stain as well, so it's gonna it's gonna absorb it right in. Yeah, now that's the way it's supposed to look as I'm pulling this off of here. Not like the last time. Let me uh actually show you guys so you can see what the frick is going on so you probably can't from that angle hopefully this thing don't tip down and nose dive into my guitar because i'll be all kinds of pissed let me zoom in yeah now you can see everything all right i'll try not to shake this table so you can see as i'm wiping this off of here it's coming right off of that that inlay just fine so that you do not have to worry about. Yeah, it's definitely going to need another coat, maybe even a third. So you'll just keep wiping this off till eventually you don't pull any more off of here. So it ends up looking like you haven't even wiped over it on your t-shirt or any kind of cloth you're using. So just continue to do this the whole way. And then we'll apply a second coat. Let me get, let me give you guys a little close up so you can kind of check out the uh, first fret. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, you see how it pulled it right off of there, so no big deal whatsoever. Yeah, we still got to darken this bad boy up a lot, so it's probably gonna take two more coats. So we're gonna apply a second coat after I wipe this off. Okay, so we wiped off all the excess. It takes, it might take you a good eight to ten tries back and forth, back and forth, but eventually, yeah, you just want to wipe this off until you don't pull any more material up. So now we're ready to apply the second coat. And I will grab that camera again once I finish this and show you guys where we're at so far. Actually, one thing I can show you guys before I get to the end here, before I get too carried away with this, is, uh, now if you guys want to darken up your rosewood fingerboard, just a couple smidgens, uh, you can get about that kind of look, which probably looks a little bit lighter than it does when you don't have that bright light on you. But yeah, if you guys just ever want to go for just a slightly darker rosewood kind of look, you can go ahead and uh, give this a try but I want this thing to be pretty much black that's what we're going for it has been a half hour aka 30 minutes so let's take a look at what we got so far and if you can or cannot tell it's starting to darken up pretty good so again repeat we're gonna take this here and we are going to start wiping off the excess again. Oh yeah, it's darkening up a lot more. That's what we're wanting. That's what we're going for. That's what I'm going for. So, I'm going to kill this camera. I'm going to clean all this up. And then I will see you guys again. So that's all of it wiped off. And I'm going to set this camera up on my tripod. And I'm going to show you a side by side uh, with my Junior V tripod was not necessary this table does accommodate two people 
which is these two guitars. So let's make the side-by-side uh, -side comparison and let's see what we got. So that's the second coat. And that's my Ebony Junior V. That is real Ebony. So it's getting, it's getting there. It's getting close. It's getting close. So we are going to go with a third coat. We're going to wipe it off. Have a look at it. Uh, same process, you know, uh, apply it, wait a half hour, and then uh, wipe off the excess, blah, 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 and see what we're dealing with. Hopefully that third one will, it'll be uh, done for after that. And then if that's as dark as I want it, after I wipe everything off, it's all said and done, let it dry overnight, 8 to 12 hours, somewhere around there, and then um, should be good to go. So the third coat was applied, and it was wiped off, let it dry for 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. And it's still not quite to my liking. I still want it darker. So what I decided to do is pull out all the stops. So I'm going to go a little bit against the grain, against the constructions that I uh, took off of that article that I shared with you guys in the description. So this time I applied a fourth coat, which you can see here. And I'm going to let this dry overnight. And then uh, when I get up, I'm going to wipe off the excess, see what I'm dealing with. And when I go to do this one... I'm going to use uh, the finest steel wool there is, which I have. i got plenty of it from the last uh, last time I did the Moser. And if this ends up giving me better results, I'm definitely going to go with this uh, method for from here on out. Because um, this is only the second time I've done this, so I'm kind of learning as I go. And you guys are here to join me for that. But uh, again, I was just going through what, um, what instructions are listed on there, just following all those steps. Um, so this is going to be, you know, uh, an eye opener. Let me know if this, uh, yields better results or not. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow on this and we'll see how it looks and we'll go from there. Before I pass out for the night, I figured I'd show you guys from this angle cause this is where you can really see the darkness involved. And that's really what I'm going for. I, I'm hoping to reach this look. Or it's like pretty much black like my headstock and it's gonna really make that green pop um, yeah this uh, this fretboards just taking the stain differently than my uh, bastard V did it is what it is I mean that guitar it was two coats it was done came out beautiful and this one is just acting a little different being kind of a bitch so we're gonna see uh, what happens again and um, I'll share all that with you guys